Welcome back to the Untriggered Parenting Podcast with me, Paula Sampson Lawrence. On this bonus episode, my special guest is Cassie Swift. Cassie is a children's life coach and she's also the founder and organizer of the Children Mental Health Matters Summit that's starting on Monday. Cassie joins me today to tell me more about the summit, what her aims and hopes are for it, and how you can get involved. Let's dive in. So welcome, Cassie, to the show. Um, Before we get into the summit and the information about that, first of all, I'd love you to introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your background. Okay, so thank you for having me. And um, yeah, where to start? So obviously, (laughs) I'm I'm Cassie. And um, first and foremost, I am a mum to my three amazing children um, who are 9, 12 and 14. Um, I have um, six fur babies. So we have five cats and a cat named Sophie. (laughs) Um, So it's a busy household. We're huge animal lovers. And now I've said her name. She's (laughs) Um, (laughs) I I love reading and writing um, and I've sort of been part of eight collaborative books Mm -hmm. um, including three that I've sort of organized myself so I love um, bringing people's voices to you know to the page and and giving them that belief and um, yeah we love we love the outdoors we went on our first camping adventure this year and um, loved it so we're going to be carrying on with that and obviously I'm a huge children's mental health um, advocate um, as well as dementia and Alzheimer's Mm. Um, and that is based on my own life experiences Mm. really and what what I've uh, been through in the past. What makes children's mental health so important to you? I think from so my whole sort of my background and the the I was bullied throughout all of my school life school was miserable you know it was something that you had to survive and just you know home education wasn't really a thing back then It, it was just something you had to to do and seeing you know what happened with with certain friends and what I experienced and how it led to a burnout and ultimately um I was hospitalized um, due to severe weight loss and I didn't want other people to go through it and then the turning point for me was I was told that I couldn't have children as a Mm. result of the the extreme weight loss and Mm. I found out I was pregnant and um, so that sort of changed everything for me and made it like I didn't want my children to go through what I'd been through and I became more passionate about it and was looking into it more and then my children started being in the school system started going through similar things and Mm. I was just like enough is enough this needs to be addressed people need they need hope because there's just so much desperation out there at the moment of not knowing what to Mm. do because of um, you know underfunding and people being overworked that it was just something that I was so passionate about that I so want to try and change and enable people to to live their best life and not go through the things yeah. that, that I am myself that I have been through and other people as well so yeah excellent yeah. well thank you so much for sharing that and yeah I can't think of a, a, a better why to do this really important work so the children's mental health matter summit starting on Monday yay so really excited about that so tell us how that came into fruition what gave you the idea for a summit in particular and how did that get off the ground so um I it was an accident um (laughs) all best things are (laughs) yeah it was you know just I would love to say that I had planned it all and that Mm -hmm. I had this big thing in mind um but I never had would have well I never had the confidence that I would be able to pull something off Mm. like this. Um, And so it basically started with me. I have a children's mental health Facebook group. And during children's mental health awareness week, I wanted people to come in and and chat to to the audience. So as they had different viewpoints other than my own. And the response that I got from the post I put out was phenomenal. And so I was sat there with like all these people that wanted to speak and not having anywhere to do it and I was like okay what can I do and I thought right I'll do a summit 
that's what I'll do. Mm. Um, so my good friend Heather, who is still involved, she does all the behind the scenes stuff with the the technical stuff. I said to her, can you can you get a landing page for me, please? Because I just I want to do this thing. And within two weeks of me putting the post out, the first summit happened. Wow. Um, <laughs> and it was it was a big learning curve. I'd done it mm. live. So there was like five talks a day, all of an hour in length that I'd done live on on facebook um and i didn't repeat that process because i <laughs> not to <laughs> you learned the first time that's <laughs> not doing it like that again <laughs> yeah not doing that yeah. um so you know we reflected and then we we done it again last year mm-hmm. and um it was a bit smaller there was some pre-recorded some live elements and then we're going into this year which um it's later in the year um obviously it's not children's mental health awareness um we had a bereavement in february so i was unsure whether it would actually take place this year and um in actual fact again um it's it's exploded this year it's it's the sort of the biggest one that we've we've had um and it's highlighted just how prevalent children's mental health is globally not just within the uk yeah one thing I love about the summit is just um, in terms of subject matter, how diverse it is. Can, so can you speak to us a little bit more about that and what we can expect? Yeah, so um, the, the idea behind it was to sort of help. And there's so many moving parts in children's mental health. You know, there's the the obvious, obvious ones that people think of, but there are so many moving parts. And I didn't want to just hone in on one particular aspect like you see parenting ones and and all this and so the idea is it covers everything and so the 10 days are have different um topics attached to them Mm. um, ranging from you know um emotional regulation and empowerment teenage years neurodiversity life skills your mindset self-care family dynamics complementary and alternative and like home education and school-based and that allows people to dip in for what what is relevant for them and as I say there are some things in there that people don't expect so we have got people talking about young entrepreneurship and money mm. skills and even you know decluttering because it can it can be a very real thing for a lot yeah. of people but something that don't that people don't talk about because of yes. the the things that they feel inside so it gives someone a platform where they can come and they can dip into anything that's relevant Mm -hmm. without fear of any judgment because it's literally all in this container they don't need to go and look for something specifically on money management or decluttering Mm -hmm. because it's all within the summit and the hope is that it will help everybody who joins it will empower them in one way or another you know to to move forward and to have that hope um and it will just give them a glimmer of light in in the darkness that they may be in absolutely um i would love to know what would you say is the most pressing issue in children's mental health at the moment um is it just um the rate at which it's growing is it the lack of support um, lack of support available from you know local authorities and the medical field what would you say is the most pressing thing that we it's such a battle it's, to come up against I I think that it's the under you know the underfunding that, yeah. that is happening and the ability to be able to access the help and support that people need for their mm. children um, the systems all of them in place have a very set budget and a very set agenda and Mm. there isn't much flexibility and if your child doesn't fit into the sort of square you know the the whole the square hole that's that's designed for them yeah you face so many battles and that in turn increases the child's you know mental health problems because they feel like they're creating more problems for their family Mm. or it makes them feel more excluded or, and it just exacerbates everything really. And I Mm. think that as a whole, the biggest thing I see is anxiety. It's, you know, that's where I think that's where it all starts. And it's, it's that anxiety leads to so many different things and there just isn't 
the funding to give support to mm. children as individuals and I think that is where a lot of the issues are coming from and the parents having to to fight for everything whether it's within the the medical system trying mm. to get the right diagnosis so as their child can get the right support or within the education system trying to get teachers see that they do things differently mm. there just isn't there just isn't the support and people just don't know where to turn anymore and it's it's not just UK based this is having spoken to to speakers this year within the summit you know this is global this is happening everywhere from Canada to to New Zealand you know mm. and it's like I've it's a pandemic in my opinion yeah. children's yeah. mental health crisis is a pandemic and unless something radically changes like something yeah. big has to happen um otherwise we're just we're just creating that cycle of yeah. you know an already overrun adult mental health service that's just not going to get any better because mm-hmm. nothing's changing in the children's mental health Part. That's that is so so true. And where would you say then um this summit would would sit in terms of trying to sort of address that issue a little bit? What sort of part do you think it's playing in that or you're hoping to play in that? Um I hope that people so a lot of people stick to the traditional ways that we've been told to get help, you know, go yeah. to the GP, go through this system, get a referral, get an EHCP, all of this stuff, which all has its place. Of course it does. Mm. But when that feels out of reach, parents just tend to feel this sheer desperation that no one's listening to them. They have nowhere else to go. They're failing their child, all of this stuff. And I just, I hope that by bringing the summit together you know with 55 plus talks that we have it lets people know that they are seen they are heard mm. there are people out there and a lot of them you know it, it's uh, it, mm. although we've got 55 plus there are many more that wanted to be involved but logistically you have to you yeah have to cap it somewhere yeah. Yeah. um but it's it's just letting people know that there are people that get it and a lot of the experts that are speaking um, whilst being professionals in their field they come at it from a lived experience so they get it they know what you're going through they know what you're feeling and they know how to help you navigate some of that and so Mm -hmm. I just hope that it lets people know that there are people out there that do want to help just not in the traditional um systems that are necessarily in place that sometimes you you have to look further afield but there are a lot of us out there that that will be that can help and can point you in the right direction and can give you even if you're on the waiting list can give you practical tips for things that you can do in the interim to yeah while you're waiting yeah you know absolutely you and your family yeah within that yeah absolutely and um so in terms of the past ones that you've done, what makes this one, you know, I, I'm sure you're reproving year by year. What makes this one the one not to be mix, missed? What are you excited about that you've not done in the ones past? Yeah, I think the the um, the fact that the speakers are international. So they're mm. bringing in things from all over the world and you're getting really different mindsets. And it's also, whilst it's, it's horrible to know that this is happening worldwide. Yeah. It's in some ways reassuring that there are experts worldwide that can help also, that yeah. even if you're watching this and you're like, well, I'm in America and there's nothing out here, mm. you know that there are people there. And because everything is done so online now and the summit is completely online, yes. you can still access this help. It's still available for everybody, wherever you are. Um, and, as so as I say, the variety of of the speakers, we do have a guest speaker this year as well, which is amazing. Um, in sixteen year old um, Eva Abley, who was mm. a finalist on in Britain's Got Talent in twenty twenty two, and when you actually hear from a young person how they're feeling and what they're experiencing, although we know because we're seeing it and our kids are going through it when you see her talk and her honesty around it, it really just hits home how Mm. much this needs to change. And with more young people like Eva that are saying it's got to change. It's enough. It sort of 
brings that hope that our young people want to be involved in this as well you know it's it's change is possible we just have to work out a way of doing it yeah (laughs) so absolutely um, definitely definitely yeah and I just think that hearing from a young person just makes it 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 makes well it makes me as a speaker and as the founder go yeah this this is why we're doing this this is why we are are so passionate about this and this is why we're going to carry on doing um and so yeah I think you know that has been a huge thing and we're also endorsed by the ACCPH this year which is the accredited counsellors coaches psychotherapists and hypnotherapists Mm. which again just goes to show how how important this area is and how it's it's got to be raised the you know the awareness has to be to be raised and just as I said before empowering parents because we there's a lot of parent blame that goes on within society and with ourselves. And if we can educate and, and empower ourselves, we are then much more confident to be able to fight for what our children's rights are when you, when you come from a place of empowerment. Absolutely. Well, um, I'm super excited to be involved with it. So I would love for you to share where people can still register for tickets. I know it starts Monday and where they can find out more about the summit online and maybe connect with yourself. Yeah. So um, if you visit our website, which is children's mental health matters summit dot co dot UK, everything is on there. It sort of tells you a bit about like in more detail what's involved you can see the whole lineup of the speakers on there and you can register um completely free for for the summit um and if you wanted to ask me any questions you can email me through there or you can um reach out on you know i'm mainly on facebook is sort of the the place that i am the most at the moment um but you know the, the tickets are free there is no you can upgrade but there is no you still get all of the value mm. you know you get all of the recordings for 48 hours you get transcripts if you prefer reading rather than watching and all of the speakers have given the attendees a free gift as well as part of the free ticket so there is just so much value within that that um yeah it, it yeah. would be amazing to have you to have you there and and learn something new yeah and just lastly before I let you go I would love to know what's your big vision for the summit where do you see this going hopefully in the future well, that's a that's a good question <laughs> I think you know having seen um how the growth of this year it's mm. just growing it and um covering more more topics and looking at how we can provide the most value um to people and just getting it out to more people how we can share it you know because as I say it it is free there are no catches in that there is it is literally there to help you and how we can just grow and reach more people um by sharing this and um yeah just getting it out into the world so as people can know that there is this you know this annual event that they can go to that will just explode their their knowledge and their they will learn so much from it to be able to go forward in their children's journey yes amazing well thank you so much Cathy for joining me today and for sharing your a little bit of your background and um, your inspiration really for this really important summit and um, also thank you for putting it on really and just doing your part to help like you said what is really a pandemic so thank you so much and yes we're super excited for the summit and we can't wait to, even I can't wait to listen and hear all the speakers and yeah thank you so much thank you thank you so much for having me thanks for listening and I'll see you next time